Hey everybody, Mike Drutar back here. We have finished day 15 now on our remodel. Pretty much everything that is going to be out is out. I think, yeah, everything that's out is out at this point. And now we're putting things back together. I'm gonna take you through a quick rundown just to show you what we've done so far. And next week there's gonna be some really big changes because we got flooring coming in next week and then that's gonna really substantially change how things look. But a lot has already been done, so let's get right to it. Number one, kitchen is mostly done out with the cabinets and everything, and you can start seeing things come together. It started all the way here in the back. You can see we're all the way down to the concrete flooring here. And I think uh, Monday, yeah, Monday is when our vinyl comes in and we start seeing some real big changes. But real quick, we got our plywood base on here, and we're going to have templating on... Uh, tomorrow actually Saturday where the stone folks come in here and draw it out so then they go back and fabricate we've got our sink in here just for them so they can see what that's gonna be like this has that extra little ridge line right here so you can set your cutting board up right in between let's go zoom out a little bit here so you can set your cutting board right in between it lays, lays right down those two ridges and you also have a little drying rack that you can put right there so our lower cabinets are walnut and we haven't oiled them yet so we're waiting on that we'll wait till we're all done to get those a little bit more pop our stone is going to come over the top and waterfall down on the edge sink of course dishwasher stove and refrigerator goes on here and then we're doing the uppers in white and a full overlay on those and then this big area here that was uh just your your kind of Bifold doors, two bifold doors with the wire racks, been completely changed out uh, to this walnut cabinet with giant walnut doors. And we've got four drawers here. Um, we're probably going to get some more drawers here, but we want to live in it for a little while first, just to get an idea of how many we want uh, for sure, and, and go from there. You can see the uh, the doors on these are also walnut, so. This whole wall here is going to look totally different with those being all walnut there. Um, and our counter depth Samsung bespoke. And then we're still trying to figure out exactly what we're going to do over here. We might wrap this in walnut as well. We'll get some walnut planks. Uh, think about maybe doing a little bit of a design. Of course, this would be capped uh, on the end with nice something smooth. Or if we just go square, still waiting to decide that. Love to hear what you guys think about that. Um, still going to do a little bit of demo over here on the staircase uh, to put in a different handrail and we're going to have the steel cables going across. This bathroom hasn't really been touched yet. We've had some demo. This has been the bathroom uh, that everyone's been using as they were working on the place. Have our tack strips up. So this was all carpeted. Those are up now and everything's been sort of finished off here on the carpet ready or on the staircase ready for the guys to come in on Monday and we will get to see a little bit here in these two bathrooms so you can see we've got some tile that's in here we went vertical and we had a big discussion about that I was planning on going horizontal I'm glad we went vertical so I was a little worried that the size of this space would make it difficult um, not look right but it looks way better vertical than it would have horizontal so that's happened and then this wall is going to continue on down but we're waiting to get our stone because we want our tile to come down on top of our stone so you don't see that line in between quite so much this back bathroom here the primary you can see a little bit more we did that whole wall and tile all the way up and you see we put in a little shelf over here and then a nook over here with a little bitty shelf for like a razor blade and then we have our tile on the bottom our mosaic comes in really nice so really happy with that uh, there's a I forgot we had picked up a sample today it's a little bit scuffed up because of the work they were doing they wanted to get the height of the flooring so that they can bring the tile down on top of it um, but I'll do a little bit more showcasing I mean, you can actually see the texture in there. This has got texture on it. It really looks like wood grain. There's a lot of detail in that. Um, even all the way down here, 
Um, it's kind of a little bit scuffed up, but there's actually like little chatter marks as though it's been truly milled. Um, but I'll look at that a little bit on Monday and show that to you guys. And we got our walnut over here. Cutouts already set up so the uh, stone folks can template it. All right, that's where we are, day 15. Oh, one last thing. We did come out here and we uh, put some backer board down and tiled this. This is all complete now. Uh, we went tight grout lines on here and then we went with the epoxy because uh, water won't penetrate that. You don't have to worry about water getting under there. This is an outdoor area, of course. And uh, that seemed to make sense. We're actually going epoxy on all of our grout for the tile and all the rooms that we use tile. Um, costs a little bit more, but um, everywhere that we use tile gets wet, so it just made a little bit more sense. Um, still got the same color of the walls, but that's going to be changing. Uh, 